Hi, my name is Joe Shannon, um, and I work at a firm called Shannon Law Group yeah, with some very talented people. Um, so our firm represents people that are catastrophically injured in bad collisions, and a lot of times they demand some expertise. What I asked one of our attorneys, Patrick Cummings, to do was to really delve into this area of law during his practice. And during his years of practice, he's gotten repeated exposure to these cases. And, and in fact, I asked him if he'd be kind enough to write a book so that we could send it to our clients and our friends so they know exactly what's going on with these cases. And he did. He wrote a book called Avoiding a Trucking Nightmare. The good thing about this, uh, this book is that you can uh, download it from our website, but we'll also send you a copy of it. But hey, better than that, we have Patrick with us today to talk about some uh, trucking litigation and trucking cases. So I'm hopeful that you'll enjoy this this session. How are you doing, Patrick? I'm good. How are you, Joe? Good. So um, first of all, why don't you give the listeners a little background about you know where you grew up and, and where, where you're from and, and how you got to the point where you're a, a lawyer uh, practicing law in Illinois and Wisconsin. Sure. So I'm, I'm sitting here in Chicago, which is where I live now, but uh, where Joe's sitting in Woodridge is not far from where I grew up. I grew up in a, uh, the neighboring town, Lyle. Uh, went to uh, St. Joan of Arc in Lyle, went to Bennett in Lyle, and then uh, for college, I went up to Marquette in Milwaukee uh, with uh, John Sweetek, who's another associate here at the firm. Um, and then for law school, I started out in uh, Drexel in Philadelphia, which is kind of a fun place to do my first year. And then it was a little too far from home, so I moved back, uh, moved back in the Chicagoland area, finished up my last two years at Northern Illinois. I started clerking with Joe when I was a, a third year uh, law student and have been working with this firm ever since. Tell, tell me some of the, the pieces of evidence that are key in these type of cases. So one of the, the biggest ones that's uh, important now, um, and it's been more important in the last 10 or 15 years than before, is every truck uh, that's produced now is equipped with what's called a electronic control module. It's, it's similar to like a black box in an airplane and it, it records a ton of data. It's kind of amazing how much data you can pull from one of these things. You can see how fast the car was going, uh, whether there was braking before a, uh, before a crash, what the steering wheel, what the angle of the steering wheel was. It's always recording as the vehicle's in motion. And then when there's a, an event such as an impact or an airbag goes off or a hard break, then all that data for 5, 10, 15 seconds, depending on the model, before that, that event is recorded. And so it's important that we get involved early so we can say to the trucking company, hey, this is important. We need you to preserve this. And we, we get a consultant out there to inspect it as soon as possible. So I, I know that what we're seeing a lot of in the last couple of years is that uh, a lot of these trucks are also uh, equipped with video equipment. Can you tell our uh, listeners a little bit about that? Many trucking companies, especially the bigger trucking companies, are equipping their uh, tractors with dashboard cameras. And there's two different types of dashboard cameras. There's outward facing. So basically the camera is showing what the truck driver would be seeing at the time. And there's also rear view facing or that's facing into the cabin of the tractor, which shows you what the driver was doing at the time of the impact or in the 15, 20 seconds before the impact. And one of the reasons they do it is for litigation. They want to know, you know, what their exposure is, whether they think their truck driver did anything wrong. Um, the other reason is for training purposes. So if a, a truck driver, if you're watching a video of him and you notice that his eyes keep going down, and he's looking at his phone or he's looking at uh, a map or he's adjusting the radio or trying to get on his uh, you know, CV radio or whatever, and his eyes are off the road, this is an 80,000 pound rig that he's driving. So his eyes need to be on the road focused almost all the time. These bigger trucking companies will use that video and they'll flag when there's the eyes leave the roadway and so that they can coach their drivers and say, hey, we noticed that at this time, when you're in this location, you weren't paying attention. Here's, and then they can retrain it on that issue. Right. So, so those, uh, the ECM, uh, as well as the videos, those are absolutely, you know, crucial. I mean, it's, it, it's just common sense that folks understand that. And those are things that we don't want to go away because they would be helpful to their case. Cause typically, 
you know, we're getting cases where the this big rig uh, either wasn't stopping or changed lanes unexpectedly or did something erroneous and then ran over these folks who are helpless and and really badly injured. So, um, in fact, we. We have a case that Patrick and I are working on right now where we were lucky enough to get involved early and we did get all these things. And so we're, we're just thankful for our client who's, who is badly injured in this crash and that we, we found all that stuff out. Well, thank you so much, Patrick. I really appreciate you taking time. Uh, and again, thanks for writing your book. Uh, it's called Avoiding a Trucking Nightmare, What You Need to Know After a Truck-Related Injury. And it's simple to read. Uh, it's a good resource and you can pick it up at channelaugroup.com. You should also, uh, if you like the information that, that um, we're providing to you, you should subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, at Channel Law Group. So I hope you have a, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, taping and we look forward to hosting more of these tapes in the future. Thank you very much.